Now that I have completed the setup of my profile and my categories, I may want to begin entering some assignments. Again, I will go to the Settings tab and I will choose Administer Assignments. You'll notice I have boxes at the top for Semester, Cycle, which stands for six weeks basically, and Course Section. I will need to enter assignments for each course that I intend to record grades. I'll start with my second period reading course. I'm in cycle one and I want to enter an assignment name. You can make the assignment name very specific or you can keep it a more generic assignment. Because I set up two categories under Administer Categories, I now have to select which category this assignment will fit into. I'm going to choose the Daily category. I should also set an assigned date. This is the date that I'm making the assignment. Since this assignment is going to be for September 2nd, I'll choose September from my calendar drop down and the 2nd. I may also want to select a due date. This is kind of important because parents and students can see the due date when they log in to the parent or student portal. Since this assignment is something that will most likely be completed in class and I'm assigning it on September 2nd, I'm going to make it due on September 3rd. The total amount of points a student can score on this assignment is 100. I'm not going to check the extra credit button. Even if I intend to give extra credit on this assignment, the total that they can earn for the actual worksheet is 100. I can click on the Notes tab if I need to enter no any notes that I want parents to be able to view through the Texas Connect web portal. If I want to add another assignment, I simply hit the Add New Assignment button. I can add as many assignments as I would like, but notice there is a Save button at the bottom. Might be a good idea to save regularly. You don't need to save after every single assignment you enter, but you may want to enter a few and then click the Save button. Notice you will have to enter your PIN before you will be able to save anything entered on the assignment page. I'm going to go ahead and save this assignment. I'll click the X to delete the assignment that I created as just a demonstration of how to add a new assignment. I'll enter my PIN and I'll click Save. This assignment has now been assigned to my sec uh, period 2 reading course. I can copy this assignment to other courses by simply clicking on the Copy Assignments to Other Courses link. If I teach other reading courses, it may be easier for me to add assignments to those courses using this method. Since I only teach one reading course and I do not plan on assigning this particular assignment to any of these others, I'm just going to click on Back to Assignments. At this point, I've added an assignment and I'm now ready to enter grades. To enter grades, I'll proceed to the Grades tab at the top. I want to click on the Assignment Grades link. Here, if I'm in Semester 1, Cycle 1, and Course Section 02 Reading, where I entered my first assignment, I can click the Retrieve Data button to retrieve the data, which will include all of my students' names and the assignment that I entered earlier. Notice the maximum score is 100. Now I can simply 
click in the field next to a student's name, and enter grades. I'm using my mouse to move to the next field. I can also use the down arrow button just as easily, or I can press the enter key, and that will move me down as well. At this point, if I want to save these grades, I'm going to need to enter my password. Again, that's the four-digit PIN that I assigned when I updated my profile. Remember the default four-digit PIN assigned by your administrator is 1234. That's a very easy PIN and should be changed upon entering the gradebook for the first time. I'll now click Save Grades. And when I do, these grades will be saved 